Welcome back, everybody. It is Vlad coming at you here on the 4th of November, about 10 p.m. here in the central United States. So uh, probably about uh, 8 p.m. there on the West Coast, if you are joining me now. Um, let's get started, guys. So um, getting into Saitama, let's take a look here. Um, one thing I wanted to point out, there was this cool, somebody posted in the comments, there was a video, uh, essentially, here, this MDR Wolves. That was the, the music that's playing in the background right now. Um, as always, I am Vlad, part of the Saitama Wolfpack. Oh, right. Here we go, folks. This is going to be, I think, incredible. Like, with, uh, the news that's been coming out with KuCoin, with, uh, possible Coinbase listing. I mean, Russell was hinting at a, a possible Coinbase listing, you know, because it, the requirement to be listed on Coinbase is 150,000 holders. He tweeted that, um, you know, fun fact of the day. Um, the requirement is 150k so uh, yeah I, I think over the next couple weeks especially uh, really big things if we uh, we take a look over here let's look at uh, this was one of my uh, like my most recent video from yesterday essentially um, let me refresh this page here make sure I don't have any comments to uh, to look at over here um, looks to be I got a new subscriber okay um, this one here I saw earlier but I can't actually view it so it's been removed or something I'm not sure exactly that was the latest comment that I've seen so but uh, thanks Milo for uh, subscribing um, as you can see though we've got a thousand views so we're spreading the word here on Saitama uh, one person doesn't like the video well sorry bro uh, or gal whatever um, but let's this is the reason I wanted to come here essentially was uh, you've got all these neat links you don't have to go find anything so that YouTube video the link is right here for it that's the music that's playing in the background here's the link to uh, Willie D's YouTube video where they were uh, talking with Russell about um, you know the KuCoin listing and stuff like that uh, here's the link to Saitama Diva her twitch where she streams pretty often over there here's the, my twitch um, Here's a link to the tweet talking about the KuCoin listing. Um, at the time, it was just like, you know, top five exchange. We didn't know exactly what it was, but we do know now it was KuCoin. If you would like the contract address for Saitama, I have it right down here. Uh, that way you can just take that and what you can do essentially is take and paste this directly into Uniswap. So, oops, wrong one. Copy that guy. And then come over here to Uniswap, and you would just paste it directly into where it says search name or paste address. Paste that address, and it pulls up Saitama, and you would have Saitama down here on the bottom. Make sure that you have your slippage set to at least 5%. If it does not go through, whenever you try to run that, you need to go up. You know, I'd, I'd go up to 6, try and run it. What I've seen it happen, you know, for me what happened was um, instead of it actually popping up on my phone and saying, do you want to confirm this transaction? It uh, just kept on saying confirm swap, confirm swap, confirm swap. I never actually saw it come up on my phone. So, but that is how you would swap for uh, Saitama over here on Uniswap. One of the things I wanted to point out for you also was the um, KuCoin. So this is KuCoin, and as you can see, I've got Gate IO pulled up next to it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they look almost identical, don't they? I'd say because they're they're probably whoever the website designer is is definitely the same person, um, people, team, whatever you want to have it. I don't know. I haven't looked to see if KuCoin and Gate.io are affiliated in any way, but from the looks of their websites, they, like I said, something is definitely in, in common that they have. Um, but the, the nice thing about KuCoin versus Gate.io, for instance, that I know of, I mean, I, I use Gate.io, and I don't think that you can connect your bank account to Gate.io and trade directly um, for crypto. At least I've not been able to, so I'm not sure exactly what's up with that. And everywhere I've looked on this website, I cannot connect my bank account and, and trade. So if you guys can do it here in the United States, um, please let me know how you do it. Um, from what I've seen here, I've, you know, it's just you have to basically transfer. Um, stuff in is, is how I've done gate IO, uh, in the past, uh, you know, essentially. Um, so yeah, but, uh, KuCoin, you will be able to, um, 
connect your bank account and I have done that I, I do have a KuCoin account and I have connected my bank account and purchased um, you know like Binance for instance because I um, I got sick of the 10 day waiting period on Binance.us when you buy BNB so I bought it on KuCoin instead and now I can just do it differently ultimately if I want to I found out kind of a, I think of a better way possibly so um, but yeah guys the KuCoin listing is going to be huge uh, I honestly think that uh, the price will pump pretty substantially just with KuCoin um, but Coinbase man if we get Coinbase listing I, I kind of hope that we don't get the Coinbase listing initially can you imagine if we could hit like I don't know 500,000 holders by the end of the year and then we get a, a coin market cap listing in like January oh man I think our price would really do well at that point so I mean that's just a thought um, you know some some way of it kind of playing out a little bit different than just hey let's list 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 on every exchange you know if we were to increase our holders before we hit a top exchange like coin market cap I mean the top exchange pretty much um, yeah I think that you know that would help our price substantially uh, to do that uh, over here we are at Saitama token.com make sure if you do not have this page bookmarked that you are using the link that I have right here in the uh, the videos that I, I post or go to Google or DuckDuckGo Yahoo wherever and do a search if you try and type it into your browser and you accidentally mess up you could end up on a scam website somewhere um, that looks legit and then all of a sudden you're you're yeah getting scammed okay so uh, scrolling down the page here uh, as you can see they have a very nice website kind of explains it uh, passive income so two percent of every transaction with Saitama is deducted and redistributed to our pool of holders right so just by holding it you get more tokens um, it's a deflationary token an additional two percent of the amount of all transactions taken out of circulation right uh, anti wealth trap everyone is expected to, put, to make a profit but we want profit to be for everyone Saitama is coded in a way that prevents big wallet holders from trying to manipulate the price in their favor or from dumping the token okay so uh, down here I always have trouble loading this I think it's because of my internet connection I use Starlink internet and um, yeah, I just I've got certain pages that don't want to load sometimes for me versus like on my phone I can still load them just fine as long as I'm not connected to my Wi-Fi um, but uh, going on down the page side mask is almost here November 13th is the uh, release date for that so just nine days away from today or from tomorrow it'd be eight days from tomorrow essentially because it's almost midnight so here in about an hour, a little over an hour, you know, 50 minutes, it'll be uh, the 5th of November. You know what that is, right? Remember, remember, the 5th of November. For those of you that are V for Vendetta fans, if you're not a V for Vendetta fan, I definitely recommend that you check it out. Very good movie. Um, Hugo Weaving is the voice of V. And uh, just... Uh, the way he speaks in that movie so eloquent but you, you'll just have to see there, there's there's one point in particular that I'm, I'm speaking about and I don't want to ruin it for you but just the the way that he speaks in that movie and the the mask that's on his face it kind of makes his voice even more you know um, it, it gives it a nice like echo sort of uh, a, a vocal effect if you if you know anything about uh, professional audio and stuff it's like basically adds a nice uh, reverb and chorus effect um, to the to the voice and uh, man it's just it's a really good movie uh, contract address right here same as on my channel right here that's where I got it from I copied it from their website okay um, if you go on down you can take a look here it's basically gonna give you a step-by-step -step, create your wallet by ETH or you know whatever you want I I use ETH for the the fee obviously because you have to pay for um, any ERC 20 token is going to be paid in ETH gas fees or what they call GWEI um, and you can track that if you want to check the current price right down here I've got a link um, is gas tracker it used to be gas now but gas now closed down their operation so I found gas tracker and right now it's actually not horrible it's high don't get me wrong it's really high from where it was at like a month ago um, but it's really low from where it was at last week right so it's kind of like uh, yeah 
Um, but yeah, you would want to come over here and check out the price currently uh, before you run your transaction. Kind of give you an idea. Based off of what I've seen in the past at this number, uh, uh, 105 for instance, you're going to pay close to $90 for a transaction to swap on Uniswap. So just keep that in mind. So if gas is around GWE is, you know, around 100, you're going to pay around 85 to $90 for your transaction most likely. Okay. At least with Saitama because it's got a 5% slippage. If you are running something else with a higher slippage, it'll cost you even more. Um, over here, coin market cap, we can see that Saitama is actually recovering rather well. It was down a lot earlier. Um, and whoever this person, man, you're dumb. Like you just cashed out. I don't know. I mean, if you took, say you took $10,000 today, by the end of the year, I think that you probably just missed out on a million. Easy. Like you just, you just lost a million dollars. And that's com in, in comparison to what you cashed out because you probably cashed out more than 10 grand. But whatever, you know, you, you received in comparison to what you would have had by the end of the year. Yeah, that much. You screwed yourself big time. Diamond hands. So, you know, like just diamond handed folks. That's all you got to do. It's going to be really tempting as you see your wallet balance increase. Um, to just want to sell and I can tell you now that if you do that you are going to hate yourself next year especially especially like if you use coinbase wallet it'll it'll kind of show you the transactions that you've run in the past and so it'll show you where you sold and it'll tell you the updated price for what you had back then essentially it won't show you that it'll show you what it would be worth as of that day so you know if you sell out for 10 grand today Whatever it's worth next year, it'll show you what it would have been worth, essentially. Like, you won't see that $10,000 balance. It'll show you, like, oh, it was a million dollars that you got rid of. So, be prepared. Be prepared, okay? Um, look over here. I forgot to cover holders yesterday. We talked about it, and then I didn't actually click on it, so I apologize for that in the video. It was really late, and I, I've just got so much going on in my brain half the time going through a lot of my personal life right now. I mean, everything is, is just going through fantastic, you know, but obviously for those of you that, um, whenever you experience success, you also experience these like roadblocks along the way, right? Because when you're doing good, there's always inevitably something to kind of trip you up uh, and stop you. But it's not, it's not working in my life right now. It's, it's, I'm just knocking them down one after another. So really, really exciting, but it's still taking its toll on me mentally at, at times. And so sometimes in my videos, I say some weird stuff. I'm, I apologize. Like, like yesterday I said Commodore 84. They, that, that doesn't exist that I know of. It's a Commodore 64. And I even said 64 later, but in the moment when I first called it by name, I called it an 84 <laughs> just because, yeah, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm not, uh, infallible would be the word. Every human being, um, would be fallible. Man, I got to straighten up. My back hurts. Ugh. Um, so over here, holding address is 145,000 on October 29th. Moving forward, you know, this is one day, two days, three days, four days, five and six. So 145, 175. 30,000 holders in six days. That's averaging the same as it was the last time we looked, right? 5,000 holders a day. Yeah, pretty awesome. Um, at the rate, if, if we can maintain 5,000 holders a day in a month's time, that means we will have 325,000 holders. I can live with that. I think you can. Um, add that again, and we'd have 475,000 holders. Yeah, so that means by the end of December, we could be closing in on 500,000 holders. If, that's a big if, if we maintain 5,000 holders a day, like we, what we've seen between October 29th and November 4th, 5,000 holders added on average, if we maintain that, we'll be at almost 500,000 holders by the end of this year. Absolutely. And that's just given off of this growth without Cytomask without KuCoin, right? So, yeah, I'm excited. I hope you all are too. I, I can definitely see bigger things than what I had even um, been predicting, like in, in my previous videos. Like we talked about 10x and, you know, before uh, the end of the year, 
uh, yeah, I definitely see that now. Like it, we could really easily see that now, uh, maybe even more so. Who knows? You know, um, hundred billion market cap by the end of this year, very possible. It, given the, the the rate of holders that we've seen increasing uh, with Saitama in the last just week, yeah, it's doable. It really is, because that's holders now. Let's see. Um, man, my ear just sorry. I got my my haircut earlier, as you can tell, and like I have to get your haircut. So like your ears always itches, or you know, like your head itches for the first day or two. Um, the so if we had 140, we'll say we'll just round it to 150 because that's easier to, to, to do math in your head real quick. Um, 145,000, 150,000 holders essentially as of this moment. We have a market cap of $10 billion. Almost. Not quite. You know, we'll, we'll round that up to $10 billion for ease of multiplication as well. So at 150,000, we have $10 billion. If we multiplied that by 3 that would just boom put us at 30 billion right but we'd be at 450,000 holders um that's just like you know really basic general math to where we're not actually doing any sort of exponential growth which is what you'd probably realistically see exponential growth what they'd call a parabolic curve look it up it's a math term right parabolic meaning that it exponentially grows Right. And once you see it rise, it just kind of takes off. Um, but uh, it's all speculation. Nobody can say anything for sure. You know, I can't tell you, oh, we're going to be at a penny before Shiba Inu. I mean, honestly, I do think that this project will be at a penny before Shiba Inu ever is. But I mean, that's that's like, you know, that's another thing all in itself. Like, will either of these projects ever reach a penny in price? Who can say that? Given the amount of supply of, of what the token um, has in circulation at the moment in time, I think that most people would agree it's not possible for Shiba Inu or Saitama Inu to ever reach a penny until they burn down quite a bit. And once they burn down, absolutely. But <clears throat> we're, you know, months into Saitama, just months into this project. So how the hell... Make sure, make sure I've, I've got this here too so you can see it because... Um, I forgot that I, I switched back over to uh, using my webcam inside of OBS because I really didn't like that uh, the other webcam program. It slowed my computer down substantially. So I apologize for that. Um, let me um, make sure I can't. Well, I still can't see. I don't know where my webcam's at. I know it's over here somewhere. So I think I've got the holders um, here for you, okay? But um, yeah, like I said, the, the, the amount of holders that we've seen increase and everything over the last. Uh, just weak if we keep that rate up this coin is going places it really is and um i, I really expect for um everybody to be jumping on board this ship as soon as it hits like kucoin especially because at that point you can connect your bank account and buy it directly with you know um your bank account or your debit card so that i know of that'll be the first place that you can do that right i mean correct me if i'm wrong I, i'm not saying i'm right I, I'm, I'm speculating um, but yeah it, it's very possible um, let's look over here at gate IO see what they are looking at market price of Saitama real quick this if you wanted to trade Saitama this is essentially what you do you click on markets you can come over here and you can search for um, Saitama and you want the USDT version of it right um, okay so coming over here, we are looking at the price being highs, lows. Right now we're at the all-time, or not all-time high, <laughs> the 24-hour high basically. It was it was just at earlier 90. Um, it was showing here for a second, but whenever I was first loading, and in the last 24 hours it would have been the the high um, for that. I'm, I'm not if I'm not mistaken, right? Because the price was dropping as of. When I made the video last night, I want to say it, it, we we'd already peaked over. You know, we we ate the zero, but then somebody sold a boat load, like a thousand ETH, I think. I think it was Jake, maybe Gagain, that had tweeted it was like a thousand ETH sell off or something. I mean, that's insane. Whoever that was, they paid an insane amount um, of reflections to us all. <gasps> that is the first time I've seen gas under a hundred, and I don't know, a couple weeks probably. Seriously. 
Like, I think that's the first time um, with my eyes. Like, I know it's happened probably, but personally, that's, that's like the cheapest I've seen it in, in a couple of weeks. That's pretty awesome. Um, I'm about finished with this, uh, guys. There's really not much um, right at the moment. I mean, let's load up uh, Saitama Guru, you know. So right over here, whenever you're looking at my videos, whenever you open that up and, and you scroll down, uh, you want to come over here and you, you want to check Saitama Guru to see exactly what um, news he's putting out about the project because by and large, that's where I've been bringing, you know, all of the news to you from is from him. I just go to his Twitter and then... I tell you what he tells me off of his Twitter feed. So it's not like you don't have that same information available to you, but I am bringing it to you here in the form of a video uh, to where you kind of have an idea of everything in general. You don't have to do all this uh, on your own. You can just watch me, and then hopefully I'm not too bad at telling you all uh, exactly. And see, I'm glad. Like, this video is uh, already 20 minutes long. I'm kind of glad that I waited till later in the day to get it done because I wouldn't have seen this. Um, hope you all <laughs> bought your moon suits. I had Elon Musk come visit us in space. Medicine is about to enter a new paradigm of innovation, personalized medicine, and bioformatics. I don't think I've ever seen that word. Bioformatics are only at its infant stages as big data becomes more important in general. Use in society. Uh, the opportunity to utilize blockchain in all aspects of medicine, whether it be for physicians, pharmacy, innovation in the biotech industry, is at an early stage of cutting edge adaptation or uh, adoption. So, Tama will be at the forefront of this innovation. Guys, I really like that tweet, but you need to fix it. It's hard to read, and it doesn't make sense because you're missing a comma there eventually. Um, or, no, it should be a period, and then there should be a capital. Yeah, so right there, like, uh, as big data becomes more important to general, or, wait a minute, it's hard to read. As big data becomes more important in general use in society, the opportunity to utilize blockchain in all aspects of medicine, whether it be for physicians, pharmacy, innovation, uh, yeah, that, that sentence doesn't make sense, guys. Sorry. I really like the news, but you need to fix that. That's, it's kind of, it's hard to read, like, really hard to read, um, it doesn't make sense halfway through. Um, like that, that sentence that's in the middle there needs to be fixed. Something, Something's off. Um, but anyhow, guys, um, this is big news. And um, I'm going to go ahead and retweet it. But I hope they um, maybe delete it and re you know fix it and put it back out to where... Because like I said, it's just hard to read. And it doesn't really make much sense as you're reading it through. As big data becomes more important in general use of society, the opportunity to use like blockchain and all aspects of... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there, there's something off there. It's almost hard to catch, even. Your brain tries to go ahead and finish it for you. And I almost, like, the first time I read through it, it did, sort of. But then the second time I read through it, it was like, something is not right. So, um, but yeah, guys, I won't I won't harp on that anymore. As you can see, I, uh, yeah, I'm a substitute teacher in my spare time. Yeah, that's the teacher coming out in me. <laughs> so um, over here, uh, who else? We've got, uh, let's look at um, Sada Official and Sada Man, okay? Because these guys also put out some really big uh, news sometimes. And um, let's see what they have to say. Let's get rid of Saitama Guru because that will slow me down. I'm going to get rid of all these pages. Except for the one thing here at the end I wanted to show you. Got another tip for the day because I recently got one of those. Yeah, not recently, like last year, but I have. Uh, I, I recently was doing some extra, you know, practice, and man, I just I love that thing. So I wanted to show anybody that is a um, a gun enthusiast, essentially, um, what I'm uh, just really happy with. I've just seen the videos on t uh, YouTube with Satama Guru and Willie D. They're so good and informative. I'm so hyped. Man, you just now saw it? What? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it looks like basically this is the big news uh, right now. So, uh, Satama Official. How do we feel? The lineup of the billboard. Times Square and Unison with our premiere launch. <laughs> that would be awesome. Freaking awesome. I hadn't seen this one yet either going to retweet that um but yeah guys like i said I, I come over to twitter and that's where i get most of my news 
All right, so last but not least, moving on. If you're done, you don't want to learn about gun stuff, then bye-bye. See you later, you know. But if you like guns, this thing here, you've got to check it out, like straight up. You've got to check it out. I, uh, I, I purchased one of these whenever I uh, customized my AR and stuff, you know. I, I did lots of pieces, and this was one of them. And, man, this thing is phenomenal, um, just straight up phenomenal. Um, the, uh, the thing about it is the recoil, like the follow-up shot is what's really impressive. Like this thing has no recoil now. My, my weapon has like hardly any recoil. I can literally do a, a follow-up shot. Like, I mean, it, it's just right there, you know, dead center mass. There, it's not hard at all. We're talking from 150 yards out. I don't even have like a, a very good scope on my, my AR. I'll show it to you here in a minute. Um, uh, my scope is only one to four times mag, but I can easily do, you know, a grouping of like this at 150 yards with that thing, um, with a combination, you know, I, I've got several improvements on my weapon, so I can't really say it's like everything, you know, but, uh, with the, the setup that I'm running, man, that, this thing especially is just impressive. And if you read the reviews, uh, three years, still perfect. I've owned this product for three years. absolutely love it running it on my designated marksman rifle um phenomenal movement uh, movement um basically he's saying there wasn't any i don't know he's got something wrong there but yeah he's saying the same thing i did your follow-up shots they stay on target for sure um this guy here same thing no muzzle movement whatsoever highly recommend it for anyone shooting 556 five, okay so i will show you let me uh open up my obs here so i can see myself um, Yo, gosh. All right, so um, essentially, this uh, this thing here is just incredible. It really is. Um, it will control your your recoil to the point, and like it, you see these little, they're, they might be kind of hard to see. You can see it better on the photo on the website I just showed you. But there are there's six like gas ports down here at the bottom, and um, I think maybe that might be the biggest part of it essentially that helps with the recoil control but my gosh i'm impressed i really am it, it's just an incredible uh difference in um the way that it handles you know uh so i highly recommend it it's not very expensive at all it's less than a hundred dollars to add to your weapon uh another great thing that i liked um i've got the uh the magpul um iron sights the offsets so these are really great you can just take them flip them in, flip them out if you need to. Uh, essentially, they're a set, and so, um, you know, I really like those as well. Um, Ozark has a, uh, a nice laser that you can attach. It's a green laser as well, as you can see. So, um, this was rather inexpensive too, and it's got a uh, attachment that you can take and, and you can actually have the button like up here on the, the stock. Um, I've got the Ergo, um, is uh, you know for my rail system and everything here and um, I'm running a uh, the the site is um, the oh man I can't remember it's a Burris mount and then the site is uh, a Bushnell um, and it's a one to four times mag what's really cool about this thing let me set my weapon down here what's really cool is when you want to change your mag you just your magnification I say mag you know magnification you just flip this out and you rotate it and it'll go between one or four times magnification really sweet and it's super easy um, to switch up your magnification on the on the fly at that uh, and what's what's really cool too is it's got a red dot so uh, check this thing out so I have to get it up here a little bit so I can see you uh, in here, but uh, I should be able to show you whenever you activate this thing. It's pretty bright. Yeah, there you go. It's got a red dot um, sight, essentially. But, um, yeah, guys, these things are fun. Like, <laughs> a lot of fun. Too much fun, unfortunately, for the cost of ammo right now. Um, I really don't get to shoot this as much as I would love to because it's like... Well, yeah, you know, if you own one, how much the cost of ammo is for these damn things. Um, this shoots 5.56 five, or 2.23, um, and I, I really enjoy this weapon. It's, it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, I also upgraded, you know, charging handle, BCG, um, 
charging handle here essentially so also upgraded the stock you know uh, tactical stock you can adjust it real quick so um, the mount here rather cheap these are nice I recommend getting one of these as well it's up to you how depends on what kind of setup that you want to run for me I've also got to where I can uh, I've got a, a bipod that just it's really easy uh, attachment just you know right on and off if I want I can attach a bipod right here and then just set the weapon down and go to town I mean I can I can do a grouping like I said really just sm small tight pattern at 150 yards without using the, the bipod basically um, like just laying on the ground and, and not even like you know using the bipod basically kind of holding the weapon and so with the bipod yeah it's it's freaking insane I mean you can almost you know you can't pull the trigger as quickly as you possibly can per se and, and do accurate shots but you can damn near it like once you get the the rhythm of it you can do a pretty steady like a pretty steady follow-up shot um, and be like almost dead on um, from like 150 yards out you know um, so I really enjoyed that though uh, that uh, that epsilon um, attachment the thing is just sick like I mean sick so I highly recommend it eighty four dollars for them and um, I'd probably have to create an account here to, to to leave a review but yeah I mean essentially I, I highly recommend this uh, this compensator it, it's a little bit of everything actually if you go back and read it it's a compensator muzzle you know uh, suppressor uh, or flash suppressor and everything um, uh, where does it say it? yeah so muzzle control recoil mitigation and also gives you uh, flash um, you know hides the flash of your weapon and, and what's nice about it is the uh, the top part of it has um, very minimal um, slots to where you know basically I can't see myself right now but um, there's very minimal slots here on this to where you don't have muzzle flash out the top of it to where it affects your your scope you know uh, your optics essentially so really cool really cool for for less than a hundred dollars you owe it to yourself um, to do that okay check that thing out all right guys uh, i think that's all that i've got for you today as always it's been great and i'm not your financial advisor i don't know if i've said that yet so i'm going to cover it right here at the very end i'm not your financial advisor i am just uh, bringing you opinions uh, speculation conjecture i have a degree in marketing and business management from the university of north texas i was a nuclear electronics technician uh, in the navy after i graduated high school i was on the uss bremerton uh, ssn 698 it's the los angeles class fast attack submarine that just retired actually this past year as the longest serving uh, submarine in naval history you can look it up um, it's in Bremerton Washington right now getting ready to be decommissioned and I believe that we um, are gonna be able to uh, create a memorial possibly from the sale I don't remember about that actually I need to look that up they were trying to get the sale of the boat um, removed and uh, purchased so that we could create a memorial um, for the Bremerton. So I hope they were able to do that. But uh, all right, guys, I will bring you a new video as um, soon as I can, probably tomorrow um, afternoon sometime. And if you have any questions in the meantime, please let me know if you have not already. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And other than that, guys, I will catch you next time. Love you all.